Hi, it's Jeans. Today I want to talk to you about fear and how it's holding you back. This one, this video is actually coming from my heart to a particular person that I truly, truly care about very deeply, and I love very deeply. And once um, they see this, I hope that they know that I'm really speaking to them. But this video is beneficial to all of us. <clears throat> Excuse me. The song in the background is Katy Perry's Unconditional. And it's a song I recommend you listen to because it is a song that sings, sings my feelings from my heart to all of you. Um... This person I'm recording this for, this will resonate deeply with you and you will feel the chime go off in your heart center, in your chakra, in your chest, so you'll know it's for you. And I hope that you you understand this is said with complete love in a pure, a pure place. And I want to tell you a story that is my personal story so that you may understand better. And, and resonate with you so that you can take this with you and use it. Our fears that we have in this lifetime come from a combination of places. It can come from our past lifetime. It can come from things that happen in this lifetime. And we just don't move past it. But we really need to heal because our fear, your fear, my fear, I'm working through it. I'm, I'm doing pretty well, I think. I think I'm over pretty much all my fear fear hurdles life is wide open for me now because I realized where it's coming from and I moved through it I, I went through the fear I realized it felt it experienced it moved through it and healed it and went to the other side fear is an illusion your your fear is something you think of that's going to happen but has not happened or it's happened in the past and you're afraid of the repeat. But guess what? You're watching this video now. You made it. You really don't have anything else to fear because you're here now, right? It didn't kill you. you um, you're able to watch this video and comprehend the words that I'm saying. So you're not damaged as bad as you think you are. And you're letting your emotions and your thoughts control and block out the joy and pure bliss that you could be experiencing. <clears throat> My story was, the person this video is about, pretty much, um, we were uh, very close in many lifetimes. We've been reoccurring husband and wife. And in one, this is going to sound weird, and you may, not, or may or may not believe it. It's not for you to believe. It doesn't matter. It's just my example to you. But in one lifetime, we were actually two males in a partnership. We were, I know, weird, right? But we were both males, and we were still, we still ended up sharing our life together as a couple. And um, in a few of these lifetimes, I died and left him alone. One of them was with 14 children. So that heartbreak and fear of being left alone without me, without my my spirit, has has damaged him, and he, he can't seem to get over it in this lifetime. He's brought it with him. But he's also had abandonment issues in this lifetime as well. And because he's not allowing that go, and he's carrying that with him, that fear, it is keeping us from reuniting and being sorry being being together in this lifetime and he's not letting that go he's not healed and moved past it and that's really damaging it for the for the things he could be enjoying now um, one previous marriage um, he was abandoned by his wife in that one but he wasn't taken like in the last lifetime we were together it was something it was by choice and he had to go through this to understand that it's okay you you can still have a life after that you don't hanging yourself on on the loss of a person is blocking you from enjoying what's really meant for you to be there 
so and I'm hoping eventually with my help or without that they learn this lesson and move forward and this lifetime I had the same thing happen to me I actually was widowed very young but it's something I had to move past and I almost didn't it really was pretty bad but I have to move past that and understand it's okay I've been married again since then I've learned and grown from that relationship and I've moved past that one and it hurt too it, it's not easy being divorced or separating yourself from someone you spent your entire adult life with okay I get that I understand it I've been through both so I mean I, I don't know if being cheated on is more painful than, than being left by death I, I really cannot say because I, if someone cheated on me, I don't know. But I tell you what, the pain of being left as a, a widow or a widower, especially young, is is something I'm really, truly amazed that I got past. And I, and I really understand and I've really hurt for people that's been through that experience. But if I hadn't moved past it, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy watching the little ones in my family grow, being there for the people that need me to support them, to um, enjoy being an independent adult, to reach out to help you. So please, don't allow your fear, either the fear you do not know where it's from or the fear that you are carrying from a previous hurt, whether you're abused, molested, beaten, cheated on, um, left, after death, please move past it. Heal. If you need therapy and counseling, do that. Spiritual counseling, do that. If you need to learn how to meditate and open and cleanse your chakras, do that. You research and find tools to heal because when you stay stuck in that one moment of pain, even though you think you've grown past it, obviously you haven't. Because you're not allowing these beautiful experiences. Yes, and we'll get hurt over and over and over. But that helps us grow. And you're not only hurting yourself. You're hurting the people that are, are waiting in the sidelines for you. And can't move because you are blocking their progress too. Your pain doesn't hurt just you. It hurts others too. Okay? When you stay in that moment, you're like... A, a brick wall in front of a boat and I am I'm actually an idol right now because I have my my person um, is a brick wall for this boat but it's a less hey sitting here and idling is a lesson I've got to learn too I need to learn patience I need to learn that things come in their own time when it's best I'm sorry that the music gap there I would I didn't Realized I was going to talk this long, but Katy Perry's Unconditional Unconditionally song is something I want you to really listen to and look at the words because it's true. You are not as bad as you think you are. You're not as damaged as you think you are. And no matter what you think you're hiding, I can see it. I feel it. I see it. I smell it. I hear it. I see everything you do and you don't try to hide it from me and stop holding on because it's really not... It's causing more damage the longer you keep it. Again, I'll compare it to acid. If you think you're holding acid to protect someone else, or it's because you can't let it go, that acid continues to burn you. It doesn't help you at all. It's just burning and hurting you. So let it go. Clean it off and move on. Mariah, right. I'm thinking of you. I love you, and I hope you send that love back to me. Thank you so much.